Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're just going to get started with some basic geometry concepts and vocabulary. All right, here we go. A point is a location in space. It doesn't have length, width, or height. Okay, points are going to be represented by uppercase letters. So in this case, I have point H and point I, both in uppercase letters. A line is comprised of an infinite number of points. It extends indefinitely in two directions. It does have length, but it doesn't have any width or depth. Now you can write a line in a couple different ways. One is to say a line and then a lowercase letter. So in this case, I've got <clears throat> line M, lowercase m. Or I can write it as two points on the line, so capital E, capital F, which are on the line with a double-sided arrow on top. And again, the points are written as uppercase. And you can choose any point on this line. So for example, if I have uh, point G here, I can also write the line as FG. A line segment consists of a finite number of points. It extends in two directions. It has length, but it doesn't have width or height. Now, line segments are represented by two, the two endpoints. Either one can go first. They're going to be capitalized with a segment or a bar on top. So no arrows, just the bar. So in this case, I can write it as segment LM or segment ML. Either one is just fine. Array consists of an infinite number of points, just like a line. It extends indefinitely, however, just in one direction. It has length, but no width or height. Rays are represented by the endpoints, which are always going to be first, and then a point on the ray and an arrow on top. So in this case, I have a ray that begins with endpoint B, extends indefinitely in the right direction. I have two points on that ray, D and F. So I can rewrite <coughs> the uh, ray as ray BD, and the arrow is going to the right, always or ray BF. Again, the B is the endpoint, always going to be first. An angle consists of an infinite number of points. It's made up of two rays with a common endpoint called the vertex. The rays are called the sides of the angle. So in this case, my vertex is A. Then I have ray AB and ray AC. Angles are always going to be represented by a point on one of the rays, then the vertex. Not always, but angles are represented or can be represented by a point on one of the rays, then the vertex, then a point on the other way, on the other ray. The vertex, if you represent an angle in this fashion, the vertex is always in the second position. So for example, I can write this angle or represent it as angle with the angle symbol BAC, or I can represent it as CAB. It doesn't matter what point on which side or ray you use first but the A or the vertex always has to be in the second position. Angles can also be identified by the letter of the vertex in the case where only two rays meet at the vertex. So I'm going to give you an example in just a second where we have more than two rays meeting at the same vertex. But in the case where I just have two rays meeting at the same vertex, you can use just the vertex to represent uh, the angle. So in this case, I can rewrite the angle above as angle A. Okay, so how can I write <clears throat> some of these, uh, or how can I represent these angles using the different points that I have on the angles? Well, I know that the vertex is going to be A. So I can rewrite this particular angle as angle BAD, or I can write it as BAE, or I can rewrite it as EAB or EAC, or I can rewrite it as CAE or CAD. Um, or EAC, DAB, so any combination, you just need to use one point on one ray, the vertex is the second letter, and then one point on the um, opposite side, or the other ray that comprises part of the angle. Now I mentioned before that in some cases, there might be more than two rays that meet at the same vertex. So in this case, I have one ray here, my second ray here, my third ray here, and let's say I have 
this is point X, this is point Y, and this is point Z. In this case, you cannot represent any of these angles as angle A because you don't know which angle A you're referring to. Is this angle A? I'm not sure. Is this angle A? I'm not sure either. Or this could be angle A. So in order to avoid confusion, in the case where you have more than two rays that meet at one point, uh, that is the vertex, you need to represent it using the angle using three letters. Okay, last part of this lesson. A triangle consists triangles. A triangle consists of three segments, segments now that are called sides and three angles. Triangles are represented by a small triangle, so this object here, and then the letters it's a symbol, and then the letters of the three vertices in any order. So I can have triangle FUN, triangle NUF, triangle UNF, triangle UFN, etc. So there are six different possibilities for you to write this particular triangle or represent it.